Hello Claire, it's Thursday. Today has been a little bit interesting. Not so much at school, but at work. First of all, I got to work, went to go and change into my uniform, as usual, and realised, oh, I've forgotten my black shoes. And that's a problem, because the only shoes I had on me were my brown high leg boots. So I had to quickly run back upstairs, call my dad and say, could you bring my shoes? And then of course I had to explain to him which shoes they were because he's a man. But he got the right ones, he brought them in, love you daddy. That was the beginning of my mad day at work. Second of all, I get told by Chris that we have some special visitors coming in tomorrow which we need to prepare for so we spent a long time working on facing the shot and just getting everything perfect and that took a long time we were stuck doing that for a while I felt so sorry for, for my dad because he'd come in to give me my shoes and then I left him in the car for about 40 minutes waiting for me after work and I just felt so terrible <laughs> sorry dad that was my mad day at work it was it was it wasn't as mad now that I say it but it it felt crazy we were just having to be so perfect today and it was just really really hard and I was in the staff room the other day looking at the sun because we always have copies of the sun in the staff room for some reason and I was looking at the front page and I saw this Basically, it's about this guy who, in order to get at his ex-girlfriend, he shaved her shih tzu. He shaved her dog, her prized dog, and she wanted to enter that dog into crap. You do not shave your ex-girlfriend's dog. That is just not something you do. But not only that, why on earth did they bother to cover the dog's eyes? This is just something that puzzled me. I was sat there looking at it for a good few minutes and I was like, why did, th why? Why, what, what is the logic? I don't, I, j I don't get it. But that's just something I noticed and I thought it was funny so I thought I'd share it with you. In answer to your trivia, Chesley Burnett Sullenberger III's plane crashed into a flock of Canada geese during its initial climb over the Hudson River. The reason he made it into the news was because he successfully ditched the plane on the Hudson River and all 155 of the passengers survived. That's why Chesley, not Chelsea, made the news on that date. And I thought that was a really nice story. Well done for getting the riddle right, but there is an alternative answer. What never asks questions but requires frequent answers? You said a telephone. There is another answer. The other answer is a doorbell. Your riddle for today, what goes up when the rain comes down? I hope to see you enjoying yourself in the snow tomorrow. I think I've covered everything I wanted to say today. So I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I will see you tomorrow. Bye.